Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to give you a review of the DSA course on Udemy by Abdul Bari. So a lot of people have been asking me about this course, whether it's worth it or not, whether they should take it or not. So I'm going to give you an extensive and honest review of this course. And the link to the course will be in the description as usual, so you can view the course from there and purchase if you like. And also there's a limited period discount on this course right now. So Abdul Bari is a very famous personality. Almost everyone who has done engineering from India at least knows of him and his videos on YouTube have helped a lot of people and he has over a half a million subscribers on YouTube. Even for me when I was going through my exams in college then I used to refer to his videos to understand the practical like the theory part of DSA not the practical the theory part of DSA. So let's see whether his course on Udemy is worth it or not especially from a placements point of view. Okay. So a lot of people wanted to know if they're preparing for placements, then whether they should take this course or not. So let's see whether this course is good from a placements point of view and whether it's worth the price, like I said. So for any DSA course, there's usually three parts. There's the theory part. Let's get the underline out of the way. So for any DSA course, there's three parts of it. There's theory, there's practical, as in the code theory is obviously the theory part, like how you're able to visualize the concept of DSA. Practical is how you're able to code it and how clean the code is explained and all. And then there's the problem solving. So these three things make up any DSA course, right? So I'm going to grade this course on the theory part, the practical part and the problem solving part. So let's get into it. So first is the theory. And the theory obviously is top notch. I cannot say one bad thing about the theory. He has explained everything really, really well. Like even when he's explaining graph, obviously he explains everything on a whiteboard. So you're able to see how the data structure is connecting. You're able to see how everything works, how deletion works, how insertion works in every data structure. You're able to see how the shortest path algorithm is coming. So the theory is 100% like the best you can find. So theory is pretty much 10 out of 10. There's nothing wrong with theory. Like I cannot say one bad thing about the theory. That's why I would highly suggest to anyone if they're struggling with their college exams, if they're struggling with their DSA like course on in their college, then they should definitely take this course to help with their college studies. So if you are struggling to understand DSA theory wise, then this course is the best for you. So the theory of this course is pretty much 10 out of 10. Coming to the practical, like how well the code is because he has also explained code here. He never explained code in his uh, YouTube videos. He only explained the theory, right? But here he has also explained the code using C and C++. So the code was good, obviously, but I believe that it could be better because I've seen a lot of implementations and I have seen better implementations of DSA than what he has given. But nonetheless, whatever implementation he has given, he has explained it really, really well. So practical or the code part, let's turn it into like a implementation. So implementation will be, I would say nine by 10 and let's say code clarity. Code clarity would be 10 by 10 because he has explained his code really well. He has explained line by line what is working. So code clarity is 10 by 10 implementation. I would give it a nine out of 10. And he has also explained everything in C, which is kind of unnecessary because you only need C++. So C, I would say, is a bit unnecessary. Although it's obviously not a bad thing to have extra knowledge, but you don't need to go through the implementation in C because hardly anyone uses C for DSA. Mostly people use either Java or people use C++. So in the practical part of it, again, the implementation is nine out of 10. Code clarity is really well. He has explained the code really well. So before I move on to what is there in problem solving, I would like to also mention that there is no dynamic programming in this course. He has not gone through dynamic programming or greedy algorithms. So that's missing. If you want to learn dynamic programming or if you want to be good in dynamic programming, then he hasn't really gone through dynamic programming in this course. So that is the one thing which kind of bugged me or the one thing which I did not like about this course is that it did not include dynamic programming. Whatever it had, it was good but dynamic programming is not there. Now, coming to the problem solving, he has also explained problems. So he has explained only the basic problems. He hasn't given any good problems or he hasn't explained any uh, good problems. There's some construction going on in the background. So if you hear any noise, I apologize about that. 
So coming back to the problem solving, like I said, said he has explained some basic problems. He has not explained good, good problems or difficult problems. He has explained like the basic problems and he has explained them really well. So I would again give it a 9 out of 10. So that brings me back to my main point. Who should take this course? Who should not take this course? So in a summary, the major focus of this course is on the theory part. The major focus of this course is to make sure that the student understands the concepts of DSA. The student understands how the data structure is working, how the algorithm is working. So they're able to be comfortable in it. The main focus is not on problem solving. And like I said, dynamic programming is missing. So if you are someone who's in first year, if you are someone who's in second year or uh, even third year beginning, then you should definitely take this course. Or if you are someone who wants to learn DSA from scratch, then you should definitely take this course. But if you are someone who's preparing for placements and don't have a lot of time, then this course may not be the best option for you. Because like I said, there's no dynamic programming and the main focus is on theory. The course is really well on DSA and it helps you understand DSA to the core. However, there is less emphasis on problem solving. So if you ask me whether you should take this course or not, then I would definitely suggest you to take this course. But do remember that the main focus of the course is on the DSA. It's not on the problem solving with the DSA, but it's on the DSA itself. And there is no dynamic programming. These two things you should keep in mind. Other than that, the course is fantastic. The like the way Abdulwari teaches is obviously itself is just amazing. You can see that from the traffic he gets on his YouTube channel. So yeah, you can definitely take this course. But like I said, if you are someone who's preparing for placements and don't have a lot of time, then this course may not be the best choice for you. But you have a lot of time. You're in first year, second year, third year, and you have six months, one year for placements, then definitely you can take this course and like use it for your preparation. So that's it, guys. If you have any doubts, if you want to ask me about this course, anything, or if you want me to give you a suggestion on any course, you can just let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you.